WHIZ TV will be broadcasting live from the Muskingum County Bloorvin Fair. Join us daily for live reports during sunrise in Southeast Ohio, live at noon, 5 p.m., and the WHIZ News at 6. Join us for WHIZ Live at the Fair to find out the latest on what's happening at the fair. Brought to you by Guernsey Muskingum Electric Cooperative, Lashley Tractor, Muskingum Tractor Sales, Ritberger Meats, the Muskingum County Agricultural Society, and Kroger's of Zanesville. Good morning. This is Sunrise in Southeastern Ohio. Your closer to home coverage starts now. Hello and good morning. It's Wednesday, August 15, 2007. I'm Nicole Madal. And I'm Cassie B. Hofus. Well, Cassie, looking good weather-wise out there. Can't, you know, beat it. And now we're going to say good morning to our friend and yours, Brian Wagner, who's hanging out the 161st Annual Blue Ribbon Muskegon County Fair. This fair report is brought to you by Carl Ritberger Meats and Kroger of Zanesville. Well, ladies, another nice day out here at the Muskingum County Fairgrounds. Good morning to you. I certainly hope that you're having a great morning today. Beautiful sky starting to shape up. The fairgrounds starting to come alive. As a matter of fact, some folks out on the track uh, working their horses this morning. The crews are uh, tidying up uh, from overnight last night. And the fairgrounds getting ready for another day, the fourth day of the Muskingum County Blue Ribbon Fair. We're hoping to catch up with Daryl Cubison a little bit later on this morning. He's very busy. Hopefully we'll be able to catch uh, Cubby. Talk a little bit about how the fair is going, some of the great events that are coming up a little bit later on this week. I know going on today, of course, motocross tonight at the uh, grandstands uh, here on the track throughout the day. All sorts of judging with the horses and the, the hogs, and you've got some open rabbit classes going today as well. So it's going to be a great day out here at the fairgrounds. Hope people take advantage of the nice weather that we've got. And, of course, it is Coca-Cola Day, which means if you bring in an 8-ounce glass bottle, empty uh, you can get onto the fairgrounds for free up until one o'clock so again beautiful day out here at the fairgrounds we hope to catch up with daryl cubison in just a few minutes right here on sunrise welcome back well another nice day to go out and enjoy the fair today but that might not be the case tomorrow there's some thunderstorms in our forecast but now let's send it out to whiz's brian wagner who's spending the day at the 161st annual muskingum county blue ribbon fair this fair report is brought to you by the Muskingum County Agricultural Society and Kroger of Zanesville. Well, thank you, Cassie. Daryl Cubison joins us, the fair board president. And here we are at Wednesday, which yep. is the fourth day of the fair, kind of the midway point. So far, everybody's had a great time. The weather's been great. Oh, my. I imagine from the fair board standpoint, everything's going very well. Everything's going very, very well. And once again, last night, we parked in the trees <laughs> uh, to get the people in here. Uh, what a what a uh, rough truck contest it was last night. Went well into um, well after 11 o'clock mm -hmm. but we had a great time and we've got so much uh, to do today more judging of course with uh, hogs and sheep and so forth uh, chickens and uh, all kinds of things for people to do today is coke day yeah and so uh, we're looking for that crowd crowd again today. Right? And, and that's, they got to bring in an eight ounce bottle, glass bottle, uh, right. empty, if they want to bring it in full, I guess. But well, it'd be can. better to enjoy it first, then come out and enjoy the fairgrounds. That's free up until one o'clock, I think. That's right. And we realize that this is still a glass town. Mm -hmm. And so that's a, one of the reasons that we do that. Well, I know you're a, uh, a chicken man yourself. <laughs> uh, rooster crowing contest, an annual tradition. Yes. Cool conditions today. A lot of crows, you think? We should have a lot of crows come 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, as I walked by the barn just a little while ago, they're kind of quiet right now, <laughs> but when we open those doors, look out. <laughs> they really get going. <laughs> and of course, that's one of the beautiful things about the fair. I'd like to tell those non-agriculture people, they've got to wander the barns to look at the animals, talk with the kids and the 4-H projects and uh, the FFA projects that they've been doing. Oh yes, I had a comment uh, last night about they just didn't realize all the different exhibits that are here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people just fail to go a little bit further to see all of those, and it's all over the grounds. Yeah, yeah. Of course, oh. uh, people can enjoy that uh, all the way up through Saturday, but great entertainment at the grandstands tonight. Uh, of course, the big motocross, motocross and some of the other activities also at the grandstands. Oh, yes, and tomorrow night the big uh, state-sanctioned truck and tractor pull, and then, of course, Josh Turner coming in here. Uh, me and God and the <laughs> long black train. And then we close out then Saturday evening with a, another tractor uh, 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 pull, mm -hmm. uh, truck and semi pull. Right. But family day on uh, Saturday, Brian, we've got so much uh, going on. We've got uh, 
uh, all kinds of entertainment and we're very pleased to bring out the the Y City Stars are going to be performing in front of the grandstand two o'clock on Saturday afternoon. So plenty for people to do to come out to the fair and of course if they can they probably should come multiple days because between all the food the rides the games all the activities the 4-H projects FFA projects yes. They need a couple of days, really, to see it all. Really do, and it's worth the admission just to go to the circus. <laughs> That's I right. mean, it's, uh, it's a big-time <laughs> show right here. And I know you've got a magician this year as well. Yes, and tonight, two big shows, uh, 515 and then later 745. Uh, uh, Stephen Knight out of mm -hmm. Columbus, he is fantastic. And uh, kids will enjoy that, but also the adults. <laughs> all right. Well, Cubby, I know we can't uh, get everything in. Appreciate you talking with us this morning. And I know that you've you got places to be. And uh, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. And a big thank you to the, you and the entire fair board for once again putting on a great fair for us. Well, thank you for having us. All right. Our pleasure. Back to you, ladies. Thanks, Brian. And now today's local news headlines. Thelma Barley, who played no...